Alright, hello. Uh, so I just wanted to show off this, uh, it's actually a, um, rotation image workflow for, uh, company. I got it from this, uh, guy striking light. I think they probably made the workflow, I'm not too sure, but what it looks like. I kind of modified it a little bit. I'll, uh, if you look in the description, there's links to it. So I tried, I tried running it with, with a picture of me. Um, I, it looked like it did get rotation out. That's kind of what the video looks like. Uh, the reason there's a chick on the back of my head is because the prompt I added. Alright, so I just changed my, uh, mic settings, so, um, hopefully you can actually hear me now. I noticed it was cutting off quite a bit. But, uh, so, basically we got the, uh, elf girl, and then we got loads image, it upscales it, it removes the background. Uh, here's the checkpoint for the 3D, eff or the rotation effect. Basically you can make 3D it, uh, I think it just captures multiple angles or creates multiple angles of the uh, character. It goes through the case sampler to actually encodes it. So it encodes this stuff and then uh, d it decodes it here. And then this just goes to another upscaler to 512 by 512. And then it interpolates it down here, down to here. And then, so this is just so you can see. And then basically once you have this, you can uh, go over here to... Uh, basically describe what the image is doing here so if it's a person you'll want to uh, describe each um, each way they're facing just for this part and then this part is what style you want so um, if you have an elf chick maybe you'd want to uh, make her animate more anime or cartoon or more more realistic maybe we could do that too yeah let's just do that why not looking for um, we can uh, do hyper realistic you know just to see what happens so hyper realistic let's do that okay so um so i'll run that in a second so this is the final project from before and we can watch how it changes after i hit the thing so the, after you choose your prompts so this all goes into here after you choose your prompts it goes over to this case sampler the case sampler has takes in all that information over there in the corner uh here's the uh this is a laura model and then this is a self-attention guidance so i guess that's for making the image clear i guess and then this is for this is the uh animation model so basically it can basically add motion to the final image and then ip adapter this just basically copies the uh so it'll copy this the shape of this object and then it'll modify it to look like checkpoint you can pick a checkpoint for uh, this will basically choose the uh the style that you want and then um it'll go over here to uh yeah so it runs through all this and then it'll interpolate it again and then uh right here is where you get your final video out but these are each this is each frame so you can see how or what you're prompted to get it from here to here so just to do another test just because why not uh we're just gonna do this we're gonna run it again and it's got a hyper realistic so hopefully the new image is hyper so we're gonna watch it run over here and then we'll see what happens all right so it looks like we got our final output it's not super realistic so maybe it's like slightly more realistic i don't know uh, i guess you can be the judge of how realistic it is but uh, the movement still doesn't look that great but uh this is like the 3d part this is like the modified version so if you're gonna make like a 3d object i think you'd use this but of course you could always clean up you could always clean up the object with this one so i'm sure there'll be um stable diffusion models that are specifically for making high quality 3d images so i'm sure we'll get there eventually but yeah that's that all right, so I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, everything should be in the description. Uh, feel free to just subscribe. And this, I think, there's a big future with this. We're just gonna keep adding on to it. So maybe check in in a, you know a few weeks, and then uh, maybe we'll have full 3D objects made in Comfy UI. All right, thanks.